to go coming in a group where everybody is there so you can get back up if you want to come for me come for me direct why are you hiding around everybody in, in, in a whatsapp group chat doctor who are you in real life will you be at the dinner table that will be on hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so the seventh episode of the season one of the real housewives of lagos has been released and guess what this one had too much drama and of course i'm here to just give you a lowdown of everything that happened in this seventh episode so let's go this week started with tiana trying to style yabo's daughter so yabo's daughter is turning 21 i think her birthday is coming and of course tiana is a stylist so um yabo's daughter's name is priscilla right we call her priscy she's known on social media as priscy right so you know tiana um, is trying to do the fitting and all of that for Priest's dress for her birthday and of course you know um tiana now decides to call yabo on the phone trying to show yabo what her daughter looks like and all of that and at the same time trying to talk about laura's fashion show right so remember the tiana was trying to tell chioma that you know maybe laura's outfits were not too good during the show trying to show chioma her own personal pieces that looks better kind of look better than you know laura's own but of course you know we see tiana here trying to ask yabo about you know what laura's show felt like and you know yabo is talking about the fact that she enjoyed it because herself yabo and her daughter prissy walked the wrong way and of course they had fun so you know tiana is like why wouldn't you say it was fun because i mean yourself and your daughter walked the wrong way and of course you guys looked amazing so i mean it was fun for yabo yabo was trying to give tiana feedback from what she felt about Laura's show. And then we see where Priest is having a photo shoot. Of course, the photographer is Tiana's husband, right? I um, mean, it was an amazing photo shoot. I really loved what, you know, Tiana put together for Priestie, who's Yabo's daughter. And then we now see Miriam and her sister, you know, because you know, Miriam has told the girls that she wants to host a girl in her house. And of course, we see Miriam and her sister talking about the fact that, you know, she's trying to see what's gonna be fun for the girls, trying to come up with a karaoke and all of that. But at the same time, it was just revealed to us that Miriam also has a fashion line, you know, beach ways and all of that. So, you know, she's trying to show her sister the products or the fabrics or the materials, the finished products of what her fashion line is looking like. And so we now see for the first time on this show, Miriam's husband, quite an old man, you know, probably in his 50s, 60s and all of that. But of course, they love each other. They look amazingly good. He brings a drink for his woman. And of course, you know, Miriam is gushing about the fact that her husband knows when she's stressed and when she's tired and he knows what to do to her. And so Miriam's husband joins in the conversation with Miriam and her sister on what to do exactly for the girls, how to make sure that this outing comes out fantastically well. I'm going to say that it's not like a competition anymore. They just want, the girls just want everybody to have fun. So when it's your turn to host the girls, nobody's trying to do it like a competition. It started to feel like a competition at first. But after like two or three persons had done it, we now began to see the fact that, you know what, this person who's hosting just wants everybody to have fun and wants the girls to bond. And then the day arrives and we see Yabo going to Tiana's place to pick Tiana up so that they can go for this gathering and get together that Miriam has planned. They go to Miriam's house. And you know, we could hear Tony say, you know, um, Miriam's get together, whatever, had better be good because this one that everybody's leaving their jobs. Miriam's you know, had better be fun because this one that we're, we're all leaving our businesses to go and uh -huh. meet them. She has said it's going to be fun, so. And then they get to Miriam's house, and Miriam's house is amazing, beautiful. I love the settee, I love the color, I love the painting, I love the pieces. It's an amazing house, right? It just showed us that, you know, Miriam is in a class of her own, um, looking at her house, right? And I, I mean, I like Miriam, right? She's this girl who doesn't, she doesn't send anybody, she just does what she wants to do and all of that and right so they walked in and of course the first first thing they had to you know meet was um uh, a chef or someone who was trying to give them a glass of champagne and all of that and it was detailed right so when they came it was yabo and tiano came in first and after that laura also came and everybody was bonding so when miriam came in right she told the girls you know what i don't want all of you to sit together so you're going to pick a number so you guys pick one this one three to five right so i don't want best friends to sit together so pick a number and then what number you pick is the seat you're going to sit unfortunately enough tiana picked one right um laura picked two and yabo picked three so it wasn't much of an issue right and then they started talking about your relationships, past relationships. Tiana was telling us how, how she, you know, she had issues in her relationship, emotional issues, and all of that psychological that her partner wasn't like there for her and all of that. And one, two, three, four, five hours, they were waiting for Shilma and Caroline. Five hours? No, that's too much. So we're gonna start dinner without them. 
In fact, they had to call Chema. You know, Chema was like, you know, Chema probably had some stuff to do at work. But Chema was like, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming for five good hours. You know, while they were still waiting, Miriam went ahead to give them boxes of gifts. Like, she gave them that, that takeaway boxes, even though they had not started eating and all of that. She just wanted to, you know, to make the girls feel welcome. She gave them boxes. And after five hours, we now see Chema and Caroline walking. In fact, the girls eventually could not wait. They had to go to the dining to eat. Now, to tell you that Choma knows what she's doing, Choma came with a bouquet of flowers because she knows that Miriam loves flowers. So Miriam who had been boiling, you know, Miriam said it's disrespectful for them to come late. Before they came, Miriam been ranting and all of that, you know. Um, Tiana had ranted and all of that. And then Choma shows up with flowers and Miriam goes from 100 to 30. But regardless of the fact that Miriam went from 100 to 30 because she has seen flowers and she loves flowers, because Choma knows she knows flowers, she loves flowers. So Choma just came using the flowers to appease Miriam. Yabo wasn't having it. Yabo decided to clear them and tell me, you know what, you girls. In fact, Yabo had to call Chema out and say, you know what, you're a regular late cover. I mean, you're bringing Caroline. This is the first time Caroline is probably coming late for something, I think. But for me, it's not the first time, it's the second time because when Chema was organizing the trip to Abuja, Chema, Caroline also came late. Caroline came with Chema. You will never see Caroline most of the time. You will never see Caroline without Chema. Neither will you see Chema without Caroline. So, they all came in the long run. Yabo cleared all of them, cleared both of them for coming in, especially Chema. And the Chema apologized. They all apologized. And then Laura started drama. I don't think it was drama. Because at first, before Chema and Caroline came, Tiana had given Laura a drink, champagne. So, you know, Laura doesn't like champagne. She's lightheaded. She can't take alcohol. So Laura had already sipped the champagne, right? And after she had sipped the champagne, her eyes have probably started turning on your own, right? I think that the champagne affected her. According to Laura, the champagne kind of affected her. So it felt like Laura was putting up an attitude. I mean, Laura was sitting beside Chema. So Chema feels like, it feels like Laura is putting up an attitude. I don't know if the champagne is worrying her, but I think that Laura just wants to get attention. And now, from here, I began to put the pieces together. Because after they were done with the meal, they went to the rooftop bar in Miriam's house. There was a karaoke there set for them and the girls enjoyed themselves. They had fun. You could literally see Laura, who was feeling tipsy and all that stuff, who was looking like she was drunk, all letting loose and dancing. And in my mind, I'm like, was this not the same Laura who was dancing, who was trying to feel like her head was coming off her neck and all of that. And boom, after they were done, they had fun at the karaoke. Chioma was trying to, you know, the following day, Chioma was trying to go for an outreach for the uniquely privileged people. You know, she wanted to give out stars, food materials, and all of that. And of course, Caroline came to her house to help her. So while they were going, they have a WhatsApp group, like Queens of Lagos or Lagos Queens, where they drop messages, all of them, the six of them. And then Laura starts dropping bomb messages. And Laura starts dropping hot messages in the group, telling them, you know, calling out Chioma, calling out Caroline for coming late, calling them all sorts of names sincerely i was like what is wrong with laura i mean if you cannot address this people physically they don't have to come and address them on the group everybody who wants to trash out issues will trash it face to face but i think laura has no balls to trash these people face to face right so she comes to the group and calls out chema and then they start exposing themselves you could literally see caroline you know telling laura that she was pimped at a governor's event and all of that and here is the part where it began to shock me the most because after Caroline had called Laura out for being pimped by someone, because I think both of them were at the event. So I'm like, Caroline was probably pimped. And you know, she came in and found Laura there too. So like, oh, we were pimped, right? So what's happening here? You were pimped here, I was pimped here, then we we're both pimped. Then we now see Laura having to explain to her husband because this is an allegation, right? I don't know if it was um, while she was, it was, I think it was after, before she got married to her husband, that's Laura, before she got married to her husband, that this issue happened. So we see Laura trying to explain to her husband the meaning of that pimping that Caroline called her out for. So she was like, you know, um, Caroline is divorced, you understand, and she probably just wants somebody on her side too, and probably wants to get and twat her marriage and all of that. Divorce, yeah. But she was, but she, but she was there. Yeah, yeah, so she too was paid to the yeah, I don't yeah, understand. So it's, it's no. evil. Of course, they say uh, misery likes company, right? Um, and then, you know, we see, you know, Yabo now calls, you know, Caroline, tries to get Caroline on the conversation on the phone. You know, I mean, Chema was raging mad. Why would you be calling me out? On the group, I'm not cool with you. We seemed to be cool. We seem to be cool at some point, but I'm really not cool with you calling me out on the group. And then Yabo decides to call a family meeting, asks all the girls 
to come to our house. This is one of the things they're going to show us next week. So Yabu asks all the girls to come to our, her house and all of that. And then Yabu tells Lori, you know what? This meeting is because of you. Laura, let me tell you, let me tell you one of the reasons why we're having this meeting, mm. right? Because of me. Because of And at the end of the day, a fight ensues. We see throwing of things. We see Laura and Caroline clashing big time. And I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in the episode 8 of The Real Housewives of Lagos. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask a question. What do you think about Caroline calling, Caroline calling out Laura for being pimped? I also think that Caroline was pimped. I don't know because, I mean, one of you were found in that event. What do you think about her, about Caroline calling Laura out for being pimped? And what do you also think about, you know, Chioma and Laura and um, Caroline always coming late for events? Do you think that Laura was right for calling them out on the group? Do you think that Laura should have called them out while they were seated there? Or Laura was right calling both of them out in the group because she probably could not face both of them? So let me know what you think in the comment section. And of course, I'll be here again to bring you highlights or updates on what happens on The Real Housewives of Lagos. Like I told you earlier, like you saw my previous video, the reunion for Big Brother Nigeria is coming up soon and I'm going to be here to bring you all the juiciest details that go down during the reunion. Thank you so much guys for watching. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you guys get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, and of course on TikTok, and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I'll come with you very soon. It's bye for now. Oh,